Hey guys, welcome back to my Wolf Doubt Skyrim series. I am Roaring the Werewolf, and in this particular adventure, Delphine sends me a message via courier at my place telling me that she has found a way to infiltrate the Thalmor Embassy in order to find out what secrets they may be hiding about the dragons. And, well, I discover questions and more secrets that they were hiding in the first place. Various secrets about the Civil War and other other tidbits. <laughs> So, join me on this adventure and enjoy. Well, here I am back in Riverwood. Delphine sent me a message at my house to my wife to come meet her at her pub. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. And she said it was urgent. She might have found a way in the Thalmor Embassy. Finally. figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. So, you did. Okay. Um... Why not just fight? Well, no. No, no, we can't fight our way in. But you're not coming? That would be a bad idea. I'd be too likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. But they don't know you at all yet. How can they not know me? I am the Dragonborn. Unless they're so ignorant, those high elf bastards are so high up in their ass that they can't figure it out. So, what is your plan? How do I infiltrate the Thalmor Embassy? The Thalmor Ambassador, Ellenwen, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the Embassy, you can get away and find Ellenwen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Malborn. Any questions? Hmm... Who's this contact of yours? Are you sure you can trust him? Don't worry about Malborn. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the Ambassador's parties. Hmm. So how am I going to get into this party? Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past the guards. That's well, kind of hard. I've really, really fucked over the, the Thalmor. I mean, hard. Like, really hard. Um... Once inside the embassy, then what? That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. Hmm. All right, I, I guess I'll see you in solitude after I meet your Melbourne friend. Sounds good. Be careful. Hmm. How would they not recognize me, though? I mean, I did, well, I probably killed all the witnesses, all the Thalmor witnesses, to my face, 
But my name is like legend. Though probably since I am in head standing and leader of the College of Winterhold, that could probably pull some leeway. Hmm. I guess that could. Well, off to solitude then. Uh, might as well grab my horse at the house and head over there. Clean mug around here somewhere. No, I'm supposed to meet a wood elf. Argonian. Over here somewhere. I take it you're Melbourne? <coughs> Nord. We have a mutual friend. She sent me. Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Here's what I will need. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've gotta go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Okay, I am going to need... Now, I guess it's time to meet with Delphine back at the stable. can trust him. I may be half wood elf, but still. I can't trust anybody nowadays. And he has a lot of good stuff. Good thing I have a scent. If he does run off of my shit, I'll be able to track him down. Now, where is she at? Ah. Have you given Melbourne the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Yes, I am all set. Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. Okay. Well, really? This outfit? This is the outfit you chose? Oh, I could have done better. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? Yeah, yeah, I guess. I'm ready. Here's the rest of my things. Don't worry. It will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. Fellow latecomer to Ellen's little soiree. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, sir. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this godsforsaken mountain than to any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. Hmm. 
Absolutely. There's not enough drinking in the world today. Wouldn't you agree? Well, I, I guess I could. Hmm. I will just rest here a moment. Although it is damnably cold out here, I don't look forward to the trip back down. <laughs> Perhaps we might share a carriage after the party. Maybe. I know, I know, we just met. Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. The Your invitation, no please. Fast, Here you go. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Now then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh, etc., etc. I'm just doing my duty, sir. Everything's in order. Welcome back, sir. Yes, yes. Now, to find myself a drink. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? Hmm. Quite a party. It is my first time, you know. Ah, uh, Ellenwyn. I've heard so much about you. Have you? All good, I trust. But you have me at a disadvantage. I'm afraid I know nothing about you. Please, Madam tell me more about yourself. So what brings you to this... <laughs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the... Of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. I've well spent done. eight hours in council meetings lately grappling with that problem. These are troubling times indeed. Well done. Distracted her enough. Okay. Right, who do we got at this party? <clears throat> the Empire is fortunate to have the support of the Thalmor during this difficult time, don't you think? Do you seem to be enjoying yourself at the party, Preventus? I wouldn't... I wouldn't take you to be here by surprise, I guess. Oh, hello there. I didn't expect to see you here. Yes, I am indeed. Ellenwyn always serves the best wine at her parties. The food is excellent as well. Though I confess, being surrounded by so many wealthy and important people makes me feel more than a little nervous. Does the Jarl know you're here? Uh, but it's quite a gathering, I guess. Oh yes, quite. So many important people from all across Skyrim. Don't let me keep you. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. The Jarl. Jarl Ravencrone. I'm her thane. <coughs> These Thalmor know how to treat a guest. Indeed. Indeed. Have you known Elowen long? I've known her long enough to appreciate her excellent taste in food and wine. And, and also long enough to respect her importance to Skyrim. She plays a vital role in rooting out the forbidden worship of Talos. As far as I'm concerned, those Talos worshippers get what they deserve. All they do is cause problems for me and the other Jarls. Some Jarls resent the Thalmor. How about you? Yes, I know what you mean. Most Nords struggle to accept change. Those who fought the Thalmor in the Great War still see an enemy. But that war is over, and a new day has dawned. Besides, the Thalmor reward their friends richly. Anyone who doesn't take advantage of that is a stubborn fool. Until later, then. Between the dragons and the storm cloaks, He's the Ural Falkreath. Basically I've a spent puppet. Hours in council meetings lately, grappling with hmm. These are troubling times indeed. <sighs> Just between us, I've got more important things to do than attend these meaningless parties. So what brings you to this party? Ill luck. I'm a busy man and I don't have time for this sort of frivolity. But at the same time, I don't dare refuse an invitation from Ellenwyn. You don't look so happy to be here, though. Is it that obvious? I should take pains to seem more happy. I wouldn't want to upset our host. 
But the truth of it is, I have a mountain of paperwork back in Windhelm, and it's not getting any smaller. I just hope this party doesn't drag on all night. Goodbye, but... Victoria! The man who knows how to make money, war can be a most profitable venture. It's very nice to meet you. Indeed. You sound like quite the businessman. But not every Nord is obsessed with strength, honor, and skill at arms. Don't worry. A rare few are born with a gift for making money. My investments are my strength, and my wealth is my weapon. As for honor, well, there are some luxuries even I can't afford. So what brings you here? You must be new to Skyrim, or you'd already know who I am. I have a stake in most anything of importance in solitude. I feel that it's time to put aside the grievances of the past, and let peace and prosperity flourish between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. I try to do my little part. Besides, just between you and me, it's making me pots of money. <laughs> Very well then. There's a likely looking filly, even if she is an elf. Jarl of Markarth. Serving the Jarl has many duties. What's your name? Attending dear? parties isn't the most uh, important. Really, sir. But Do neither is it unpleasant. To eat? How are you enjoying this party? Well enough, I suppose. Ellen Wen puts a great deal of effort into these parties, and it shows. I just wonder what her real motivations are. That woman is inscrutable. Can the Thalmor be trusted? For now, perhaps. But I've heard disturbing rumors that they're marshalling their strength. I suspect the treaty that ended the war was just a tactic to buy time so the Thalmor can rebuild their armies. I hope I'm wrong. I'm not sure the Empire can afford another war. Hmm. Good speaking with you. With the soldiers all fighting in the war, there's nobody to hunt down the bandits. I'm his that Thane, as well as the Thane for Solitude, but I, I don't think I could trust her. Myself. She's here too. Since I've had news from elsewhere in Skyrim. What have you heard? Well, I could learn a lot from the people it, in this room. I've heard that the feud between the Grey Mains and the Battle Boys well, and White Run Well, it's a pleasure to see you again. Why, thank you. You are most courteous. I admit I'm surprised to see you here. Normally these parties are reserved for the Jarls and business it's leaders of Skyrim. Elinwin must be very I fond of no you. Uh, you I have my own business ventures. Are you enjoying the party? Very much so, yes. Ellenwyn's parties are always so elegant. She really has impeccable taste. My only regret is that she doesn't host them more often. Hmm. I've spent many it was a pleasure. Thank you. Lately, grappling with that problem. We must keep faith in ourselves and the divines. I hope you're enjoying yourself, sir. Is the food I would like to have a drink. Here you go, sir. Colovian so. brandy. Splendid. How about another? I'm oh, sorry, but I think you've had enough for the moment. <laughs> Until next time. Hmm. Now here's a face I did not expect to see. Be mindful, for you walk among adders. I know that to be true. Do you visit the embassy often? There are words spoken and words unspoken. Beware these, Thalmor, for they are adept in both languages. For this reason, I avoid them when I can. Are you having a good time? Fair faces and fine food are well and good, but honesty is rarely so pleasing. I feel like you're the only person that I can truly trust in here. I need your help with something. My ears are always open to a friend's request. Well, I need you to cause a scene. To get everybody's attention for a few minutes. Nothing would please me more. I'll keep their eyes away while you do what you came here for. With the soldiers all fighting in the war, with almost anything. to hunt down the <laughs> Travel has become dangerous of late. No harm is meant to you, happy fool. Right here. I see it in your face. The snakes writhe behind your eyes. Get away! Get away from me! Hmm? Did you say snakes? Where? I hate the gods. Let's go. 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 Let's
Beware of the serpent in your midst. Beware, O oh people of Skyrim. Razmath, and you promise to behave yourself this time. Remove him. He's disturbing the other guests. I protest. This yes, is an Madame insult to the Let me do the talking. This time I'm okay. completely innocent. Dear me. All this trouble over me, I, I think I was confused. There's no harm in him. Please, let him go. That is absolutely untrue. Uh, that is, yes, of course. What? I don't understand why everyone... So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We right. need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Follow me. Who comes, Malburn? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Zabani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Okay. That was easy enough. Alright, and what weapon are we going to be using? Let's use my Nordic bow. It's not as shiny or as bright as the other. Um. The door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Come on. If someone misses me at the park, good Did luck. Did you see those robes You're on your own this now. morning? Who are they with? More of the emissaries' treaty enforcers? No, they're high mages, just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place from a dragon. If a dragon does show up, maybe we'll get lucky, and it will eat the mages first. Might give us enough time to kill it. Ha! I'd like to see those arrogant bastards taken down a notch. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot sloggers. <laughs> well, we'd better get back to our rounds. I I do not presume, Gisa. You are most useful, but do not presume. We have other informants who are less offensive. But no one else has brought you such valuable information, have they? Etienne, he's talked, hasn't he? He knows where that old man is you're looking for. He told me himself. You'll get the rest of your money when we confirm his story, as agreed. So he has talked. I knew it. Everyone talks, in the end. Now, leave me to it if ever you want to see the rest of your payment. Can I... I could help you. He talked to me. He trusts me. You'd like to come downstairs with me, is that it, Gissa? Shall we loose his bonds and put you in a cell together? You can ask him anything you'd like, and see how he answers. No, no, I'll... I'll wait outside. That would probably be best. Now, get out. Rollendil. <laughs> One day the shoe will be on the other foot. Maybe this chest. Okay. Dragon investigating. Current status. First MC Elvin. We anticipate a breakthrough in our efforts in covering the party or power behind the dragon resurrection phenomenon. As an informant has identified a possible lead 
whom we have brought back to the embassy for full interrogation. The subject is obstinate, but by all indications he's holding back the information we seek. I have authorized intermediate manual uncoiling. I do not expect more will be necessary unless you feel time presses. I know you prefer to be present for the final questioning. I will inform you immediately when the subject is fully receptive. Two days should tell the tale. In the meantime, if you wish to audit our technique, your expertise is welcome. As always, I have placed the prisoner in the cell closest to your office stairs for your convenience. Hmm. The interrogation chamber key. Uh, Dossier on Delphine. Active. Status active. Capture or kill. High priority. Hmm. Emissary level approval. Female Britain. Mid 50s. Well, she looks good for being in mid 50s, I guess. Delphine was high priority target during the first war. For both operational and political reasons, she was directly involved in several of the most damaging operations carried out by the Blades within the Dominion. She had been identified and was slated for initial purge, but by bad luck was recalled to Cyrodiil just before the outbreak of hostiles. During the war, she invaded. She evaded three attempts on her life in one case killing an entire assassination team wow since then we have only indirect evidence of her movements as she has proven extremely alert to our surveillance she should be considered very dangerous and no move against her should be made without overwhelming force and the most careful of preparations operational notes she is believed to be still working actively against us within Skyrim, although we have no location on her. Assumed to be working alone, as no other blades are known to be active in Skyrim, and she has in the past avoided contact with other fugitive blades for her own security. One of the reasons she has so far evaded elimination. Her continued existence is in all front to all of us. Any information on her whereabouts or activities should be immediately forwarded to the third embassy. And there's one on Ulfric Stormcloak. Status asset. Uncooperative. Dormant. Description Jarl Winhelm, leader of the Stormcloak Rebellion. Background. Ulfric first came to our attention during the first war against the Empire, when he was taken as a prisoner of war during the campaign for the White Gold Tower. Under interrogation, we learned of his potential value, the son of the Jarl of Windhelm, and he was assigned as an asset to the interrogator, who is now first, who is now first emissary Elwyn. He was made to believe information obtained during his interrogation was crucial in the capture of the Imperial City. Huh, the Imperial City had in fact fallen before he had broken and then allowed the escape, allowed to escape. After the war, contact was established and he was proven his worth as an asset. So, the so-called Markarth incident was particularly valuable from the point of view of our strategic goals in Skyrim. Although it resulted in Ulfric becoming generally uncooperative to direct contact. Operational notes. Direct contact remains a possibility under extreme circumstances, but in general the asset should be considered dormant as long as the civil war proceeds in its current indecisive fashion we should remain hands off the incident at helgen is an example where an exception had to be made 
Obviously, Ulfric's death would have dramatically increased the chance of Imperial victory and thus harm our overall position in Skyrim. Note, the conditional intervention of the dragon at Helgen is still under scrutiny. The obvious conclusion is that whoever is behind the dragons also has an interest in the continuation of the war, but we should not assume, therefore, that their goals are aligned with our own. A Stormcloak victory is also to be avoided, however, so even in direct aid to the Stormcloaks we must be carefully managed. Huh. They're using this war as some kind of toy, a tool. But they have plans for both sides, whoever would be the victor. That is interesting. Then it shall be increasingly difficult to pick a side in order to end this war. Stop, please. I don't know anything else. Don't you think I'd have told you already? Silence. You know the rules. Do not speak unless spoken to. Master Rolandil will ask the questions. Let's begin again. No, for pity's you know sake. The rules. I've already told you everything. Start at the beginning, as usual. If you persist no, in this wait. stubbornness, I was I'll just have catching my breath. Why wouldn't I tell you again? I, I don't even know anything. There's an old man. He lives in Rifton. He could be this Esburn you're looking for, but I don't know. He's old and seemed kind of crazy. That's all I know. And his name is. I don't know his name. Like I've already told you a hundred. Oh. You know the rules. Just answer the questions. <laughs> oh. Well, our second in command is now dead. Get him the hell out of here. Hmm. Thalmor, Dossier, Esbern. Hmm. Okay, status fugitive. Capture only. Highest priority. Huh. Male, Nord, late 70s. Esbern was one of the Blade's lore masters prior to the first war against the Empire. He was not a field agent, but is now believed to have been behind some of the most damaging operations carried out by the Blades during the pre-war years, including the Falinsti incident and the breach of Blue River of the Blue River Prison. His file has remained dormant for many years, an inexcusable error on the part of my predecessor, who has been recalled to Eleanor for punishment and re-education. Oh, that doesn't sound good. In the erroneous belief that he was unlikely to pose a threat due to his advanced age and lack of field experience, a salutary reminder to all operational levels that no blade agent should be considered low priority for any reason. All are to be found and justice exacted upon them. Operational notes. As we are still in the dark as to the cause and meaning of the return of the dragons, I have made capturing Esburn our type priority. He is known to be one of the experts in the dragon lore of the Blades. Regrettably, we have yet to match their expertise on the subject of dragons, which was derived from their Akaviri origins and is still far superior to our own. 
which remains largely theoretically. The archives of the Cloud Ruler Temple, which is to believe to have been the primary repository of the Eldest Blade's lore, were largely destroyed during the siege. And although great effort has been made into reconstructing what was lost, it now appears that most of the records related to dragons were either removed or destroyed prior to our attack. Thus, Esperin remains our best opportunity to learn how and why the dragons have returned. It cannot be ruled out that the blades themselves are somewhat connected to the dragons' return. We have recently obtained solid information that Esperin is still alive and hiding somewhere in Riften. Interrogation of a possible eyewitness is ongoing. We must proceed carefully to avoid Esperin becoming alerted to his danger, if he is indeed in Riften. He must not be given an opportunity to flee. Security should be low enough where I can handle. Let's see now. Oh. Hey. Now the Thalmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. Really? Oh, that's, that sucks for you. Yeah. I told you. I don't know anything else about it. I'm he I'm not here to torture you. What? Who? What? What do you want then? Uh, it's no time to explain. Let's just just get the hell out of here. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Come on, this way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. Okay, sounds good. I'll follow you. Whatever you want. But let's go, now. Dude, you don't have to be so slow. Come on. Oh. And I have the key. Yeah, you 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 can come too since you help. I guess helped with this. Oh, wait, I don't have the key. I thought I had the key. Could it be one of them up there? Ah, trapdoor key. Awesome. Okay, they had it. I'll take it too. Lock it behind us so they don't get in. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. There goes Malborn wherever he he decides to go. You didn't have to help me, so thanks. Hurry, go find yourself some clothes. It's cold outside. Now, where on the map that she told me to meet her? Back at Riften? No. I uh, don't know. Riverwood. Yeah. Alright, time to make the trek back to Riverwood. Get the rest of my things. Oh, my things. You made it out alive, at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. 
Did you learn anything useful? The Thalmor know nothing about the dragons. Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. They're looking for some... somebody named Esbern. Esbern? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. Hmm. What would the Thalmor want with Esbern? You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esbern was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. Hmm. So, the Thalmor thinks that the Blades know about the dragons. Ironic, right? The old enemies assume that every calamity must be a plot by the other side. Even so, we've got to find Esbern before they do. He'll know how to stop the dragons if anybody does. Do they know where he is? They seem to think he's having in Riften, but... Uh, I killed all the all the people that would know and took the evidence, so I doubt that they would know right offhand again. They might have to dig around for clues, which might take them a while. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Ask around the Ragged Flagon in the Ratway. It's at least a good starting point. Oh. And when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. Okay. So, what happened to the Blades? Why are you all on the run? The Thalmor happened. They've been hunting down every blade they can find for the past 30 years. Thanks to the White Gold Concordat, They've been able to operate throughout the Empire with impunity. Hmm. The Empire should not allow the Thalmor to have free reign over this place. Part of the cost of peace. Emperor Titus Mead saved his Empire at a very high price. A price that included the Blades. The Nords didn't like the peace treaty much either. Thirty years later, the Empire ends up with the Stormcloak Rebellion on its hands. No doubt, exactly as the Thalmor intended. Hmm. Well, I'll head back home right now. I'll rest up a bit. It seems I might have to... Uh, Thalmor are getting their hands their hands way into too many pots. This doesn't sound too good. I might have to step in and change the direction of where this war is going. But first, I'm going to need a lot more power. I'm going to have to take care of this dragon problem and of course the problem of what I hear about the first dragonborn returning from these weird cultists. Damn, I have a lot of stuff to do before I take on this war. Take on the Thalmor. But at least I'm the leader of the College of Winterhold, the Archmage. I am the leader of the companions. I got them on my side. Got my very own pack of werewolves. Family of vampires. Hmm. All of us combined. We could take out the Thalmor. Ruin their plans. Whatever they may be. I might have to get one of my vampire followers to spy on them. Yeah, I'll do that. Yola should be good at it. Or Ilya. 
She knows some magic. I could probably teach her some illusion magic. Hide in plain sight. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this Wolf Doubt Skyrim video. Now remember to comment and subscribe if you so feel like it. Be sure to check out my other LP series. Now if you want to know the mods I use, check the description below. You guys stay furry, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!